if I could run up to the Pack-a-Punch and straight up stick the Claymore in the Pack-a-Punch machine, I am gonna Alt F4. What? Alright people, welcome back to another custom zombies video today on Black Ops 3, or as you can see from the title, Black Ops 2 on Black Ops 3, this is called the T6 mod. Now if you don't know what T6 stands for, that's basically the uh, designation uh, Treyarch gives their games, so like T6 is BO2, T7 is BO3, T8 is BO4, so on and so on. So this mod aims to like redo the entire game in Black Ops 2. I did read the description on this mod, and it says it uses all of Black Ops 2's original code with like enhancements with BO3 in it. So yeah, the only thing I have done here is I have went through all of the weapon kits here and I put in all the attachments and random camos in each one now. This is probably the most insane Black Ops 2 mod I've seen on Black Ops 3. There is literally all the guns from BO2, even like the ones from the campaign. And it has all attachment support and everything here, dude. It's actually insane. But the thing is, like it says above the AN94 here, attachments will only be applied to pack-a-punch weapons. You have the option to choose between pack-a-punch camo or your camo when you upgrade your weapons. So it's not like when you spawn in. I'm pretty sure it's when you pack-a-punch your gun. I haven't played this yet. The only thing I've done is I have added all the camos and attachments and all these weapons. But yeah, I have not played this mod yet whatsoever. The only thing I have done is I have just switched all the attachments and everything on the guns. By the way, look at this. We have the crossbow at Tribal. I really want to try getting this out of the box. By the way, the gun does not show in the uh, 2D or 3D image here. I don't know why the guns are in here. By the way, this is like a work in progress as well. So any bugs or anything that come up obviously will probably be patched. But yeah, the only thing that shows up is the Bowie knife for some weird reason. And yes, also all of the camos in here are all unlocked automatically. So you could use like whatever camo you want. You don't need to get it through like supply drops or anything. Like everything's unlocked here. Like look at the Irish is like my favorite one, dude. I'm so glad I could get that for free instead of stupid supply drops, dude. Right, but anyway, like I said, I haven't gone into this mod yet, so we're going to go into custom games. We're going to go into, actually, okay, you can actually go through the weapon kits here as well. So you set up game, go to map where you're going to be doing T6 compatible, or where is it, Black Ops 2 maps. We have Town Remaster. Now, this isn't the um, Town Reimagined, because that one wasn't on the compatibility list. This was the only town that was on the compatibility list here. So we're actually going to be doing a custom map. I usually do stock maps, because you know those are like the most supported and compatible. But I figured, you know what, let's do Town, since it's a Black Ops 2 mod. Also, we have Mutations. So difficulty, we have Normal. What else is there? We have Easy and Normal. All right. Hit Indicator, we're going to leave that off. Headshots only. Disabled. Start Round, leave that Normal. We have, wait, oh, we can actually change the health as well. This is my first time going through this uh, list here, I'm pretty sure. I don't think I went through this when I went all the camos and everything. So, wait, what? Starting points, let start round decide. Five, okay, I guess it's just like whatever the map has default set. Perk limit, actually we're gonna change that. Let's just change it to like, okay, 12 is max. We'll just leave it at 12 here. Oh, and also we have dive to prone. Enables or disables the dive to prone movement mechanic. Dude, Treyarch, take fucking notes, dude. How the hell does a freaking modder come up with this and you guys can't even put this in your actual game? Like, look at that. Flick of the switch. We're actually gonna leave that on because I want to see how that works in BO3 hardcore. We're gonna leave that off. Weapons, um, enables rifles appear. Okay, I guess it's just all the custom guns he has. DLC weapons. Enables DLC weapons to appear in the box as wall buys. Note, weapons are still affected by the settings above. Okay, I mean, why not? Let's have the DLC weapons there. Perks. And all normal perks here. Enables Vulturate to appear in the map. Okay, I mean, why, why aren't these default on, dude? Turn all the damn perks on. Let's go. Uh, Devars. Use old pack system. Use the setting... Uh, you know what, we're just going to leave all these at default, because like I said, I don't know any of these mechanics yet. I have not even booted up a map yet, so without further ado, let's actually get started here. But if you guys are new, can you guys please feel free to leave a like and subscribe, as we're almost to 3,000 subscribers here. Dude, I can't even believe I'm saying that number. Like I said, when I first started this channel, I didn't even think I'd have over 100 subscribers. So, like I said, as long as you guys keep supporting me, I will keep uploading videos to this channel. But, uh, yeah. This is Town Remastered with the T6 mod. I cannot wait to actually play this, dude. I was setting up the weapon kits, and I really wanted to play it. I was like, nah, dude, I'm going to save it for a video, dude. Save all this for a video. By the way, I am not stoned or drunk this video. That is a miracle in itself. 26 frames. Love to see it. Casual BO3 frame rate. I'm just kidding. That's just the normal uh, load times here. But hopefully, I, I don't think I've ever... Have I ever played this version of Town before? I played the reimagined one a lot, but not the uh, remastered one, as this one's called. Uh, also, is what is that field of view? Is that like... We're at 100 already. Oh, screw it. Let's leave it on there. So, route, dude, this is actually pretty cool, though. Oh, 
Okay, so I immediately right off the bat, I tried sliding, and the dolphin dive does work. Holy shit. Dude, Treyarch, you guys are getting outplayed by fucking modders here, dude. What are you doing? Man implemented a fucking switch that lets you turn off sliding and enables dolphin diving. That is pretty fucking epic, dude. No dog water to be spotted. Alright, 1400 points, round two. So yeah, I have not played this version on BO3 before. This is gonna be pretty weird, honestly, because I'm so used to like the one with like all the like volumetric lighting and shit. Okay, so the box is in here. 750 points, nice. Now I'm sorry for not uploading the past, what is it, like five days or so, it's just like I said. There hasn't been any maps that have really like piqued my interest, and there hasn't really been any new World at War BO1 maps out. So when they come out, I will upload them. But other than that, we are playing Town Remastered here. We're getting a little bit of frame dip, but that is just casual BO3. Wow, those are also very loud. I'm sorry, I keep pausing, but this is just very loud for the SFX. It's always the freaking gun sounds, dude. They're always like blasting in my fucking ear, dude. Like, what even is this? Alright, we also have blue-eyed zombies, like the original town, I'm pretty sure. Oh my god. What I do not like is the exploding zombies. Those can go right to hell, dude. Right to fucking hell. Alright, 2400. Uh, like I said, I don't think any of the camos are gonna appear on the guns in the box. It only said the Pack-a-Punch applies them, so we will see what this box gives us here. I really want to try getting that crossbow with the tri-bolt. Dude, that looks pretty fucking cool. Also, we have the OG box light. That looks nice. Okay, we got the Shecom. I mean, it's not that bad. Yeah, so this did not apply any camos or anything, so we will have to pack a punch to see what it does here. Man, it's actually really cool. I did not even know this mod was in development at all, dude. I just saw it on the Steam Workshop, and I was like, what the fuck? But here we are, man. Here we are. Again, sorry for the stuttering, even though you guys probably won't hear it because I'll be editing it out, but... I have not recorded in five days, so I'm going to be a bit rusty again. Also, we have a Wonder Fizz over here, and the Grenade Wall Buy is still there. Frag Grenade, okay. Aren't those usually, um, Semtex Grenades? Correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments, but I'm pretty sure those are usually Semtex, because I usually pull them out, like, really fast. That's what she said, but I... <laughs> Wait, no, that wouldn't be that's what she said. That'd be that's what he said, but anyway. I usually, like, pull them out really fast, and it'll make it, like, that beeping noise, and I would annoy the shit out of people online, dude. It was so fucking hilarious. That they literally get on the mic and tell me to stop making that damn noise, because it was so fucking annoying. But anyway, getting a little bit sidetracked here. See, the one thing good about the Chicom is that you could fire it pretty fast, like, without, like, delay. But still, it has dog shit ammo, so I'm not really going to give it that many compliments here. Alright, quick revive. Didn't have a perk drink animate or perk sound. Oh, thank God, dude. 1080p quick revive logo, dude. I hate the perk logos that are like 144p and it looks like they came out of fucking PS1 or some shit. Alright, 1200. I'm gonna do something good. Okay, Golil. I will definitely be taking this. So, does the mod take out guns that were in the map? Because I know this map probably has BO2 uh, guns in it. But I can definitely tell, though, because this muzzle flash is definitely HD. Like, this muzzle flash is way better than the BO3 default one. God, dude, 40 frames over here. What the hell's going on? I'm not even recording in 4K on BO3. I'm doing 1440 for this playthrough. Because, like I said previously in all my other videos, my PC can't handle 4K on this, uh, what's it called? On the setup I have here. But anyway, we will plow through. Yeah, I know in the other version you can go and get in the bowling alley, but this version I do not think we will be able to. Because this is probably the more faithful one. I think this one came out first, but like I said, I never got the chance to play this one because that other version came out. So yeah, the dolphin diving does work. It's just the animation's a bit weird. It's not like doing that classic BO2 where you like push the gun to the side or whatever. But hey man, it works and I'm not really complaining that much just a nitpick oh by the way i should have said the uh mod maker at the beginning his name is gc pinehart or pinehart sorry if i pronounced your name wrong dude i am not that good at pronouncing names but he also made a wonder weapon pack a long time ago it wasn't actually yeah it was a long time ago and he had like the baby gun and everything in it and i used it for one of my maps so thank you for making that man such a good wonder weapon pack there was only one thing wrong with it though like when you try to use the qeds it would like break the map so i had to like code out the qeds so it wouldn't interfere with anything or else the mod wouldn't work but other than that that wonder weapon mod was pretty good 
Half of you probably have no idea what the hell I'm talking about because for Black Ops 3 mod tools, but you will know what I'm talking about. He or she, I have no idea. Alright, double points, round five. We have yet to get anything dog water besides the zombies exploding on me. But, dude, I'm so used to sliding. I want to just go, like, slide right into action with COD Ghosts, but unfortunately we cannot slide because I turned it off. But that is, dude, that's just so cool. You could dolphin dive and BO3, man. It actually works pretty well. It doesn't have any, like, glitches or anything. There's a bear here. I don't know what the Easter egg song is going to be. Actually, I don't even hear... I didn't even hear any, like, audio from that, so that might have not even been, like, activatable. I have no idea, man. Okay, round six. Actually, you know what I'm just realizing? There is no zombie counter, which is a shame, but it is a BO2 mod, and BO2 didn't have a zombie counter, so... Not really anything to complain about. No, there's there. Alright, let's uh, open up the bank. I wonder if we could do the grenade thing on this map, where we can, like, blow up that freaking bank wall or the bank door. Let's actually throw the- oh, it's actually like the BO2 grenade as well. Oh, we can't open it. Wait, what if it's just like a viable door? What if I just threw that grenade there for nothing? Um, insta-kill? Oh god, no. Oh, there's claymores there. Alright, we have an insta-kill over here. I want to get the zombies. Can you guys not slap me? That'd be nice. Alright, get yeeted. Man got hit markered. Get double hit markered. Alright, let's get a new gun here. Actually, I want to save up for pack, but like... I need a gun to get more points. And let me tell you, an out of ammo Chicom and an out of ammo glue is not going to do jack or shit, dude. It's not going to do jack or shit. Alright, do something good. I saw a ray gun in there. Spaz 12. Now, sadly, the. Oh. Oh, dude, it's the BO2 campaign Spaz 12. I think you only know, could get this in the campaign when you played as Raul Menendez, I'm pretty sure. When you're going through that insane mission where he was, like, on crack cocaine going through the damn. What's it called? Going through the, um... Where, where, where the hell are they at? Fucking Cambodia or something? I have no idea. They were running through some bright-ass red berserk mode from World at War. That's all I know. Man went absolutely insane. Also, I, I, did I even see a... I didn't even think I saw this in the weapon kits menu at all. The Spaz 12. Now, like I said before, this mod did say it work in progress. I'm sure that's going to be updated multiple times in the future, so... You guys are free to go back and download it if you want. I will leave this down in the description if I did not say that already. Alright, pack is there. We are going to be up upgrading the glow because I want to see what camo I put on this thing. Like I said, I put a bunch of random camos on all the guns and attachments. So, we'll see if this works here. Alright, um, what the hell did that say? Pack a punch with build kit camo. Okay, so that's how he does it. It's just a separate button. Alright, so I hold up on the D-pad. I'm not gonna go in the lobby just, just yet. Okay, so it did put the camo on. Let's see this. Lamentation. Oh, dude, look at how nice that looks. It's a BO2 gun with BO3 camos on it. That actually looks pretty fucking epic. And I, it uses the grenade launcher to put on, too. Nice. Dude, this is sweet. I can tell this mod's gonna be epic already, because the more compatible maps I become with this, or the more compatible maps that get like release with this mod is gonna be epic because right now i think there's only th three custom maps for this right now and i think most of the stocks maps work okay hiroshima let's grab you all right sweet sweet yeah most of these attachments and everything you only could get in the uh bo2 campaign like this galil wasn't even in multiplayer like most of this stuff is from the uh campaign which is pretty damn cool i also hear power up downstairs uh vector you know i'll take this I will take this. I think this was in the weapon kits. I think it was. Dude, look how good this muzzle flash looks, man. It's like super HD. I don't know if he's using like the MW2 campaign remastered muzzle flash, but it definitely looks like it. Very HD, dude. Very good. Alright, round 9 here. Slowly getting more aids by the minute. Alright, MP7. I am definitely taking that over the... Oh, the bear. Okay, so I also read in the description of the mod that it had the Black Ops 2 perma perks, and it carries over from each, like, map. So you could be playing this map and go, like, to the Giant or Nocturne Toten, and you would be able to, like, keep those perma perks on. Dude, that's fucking nuts. That is so cool, dude. Putting in more work than Treyarch themselves. Oh, and I forgot to show the game modes as well at the beginning. There was Turned, Grief, and I think 
that's it, right? Turn grief, survival, and was there one more? I forget. I forget, but I will put a picture up on the screen if I can remember all the game modes. If not, then I am dog water. Okay, also I'm loving the uh, glow on the MP7 as well. I don't like the newer COD games where they have, like, sights, and it, there's, like, no glowing reticle on it. Just It's just, like, plain as fuck. I know it's, like, kind of a nitpick as well, but, like, still kind of annoying. Alright, 4,400, another nuke. Alright, definitely gonna get double tap 2 as well, because I think the damage is Black Ops 2 as well, because he did say he used original code for this mod, so... This is gonna be pretty damn epic, man. Like I said, more compatibility that comes out for this, it's gonna be an amazing mod. Alright, you know, let's actually use this. What kind of perks are in here? It's just gonna be the BO2 ones. Oh my god, we got who's fucking who, man. And we just lost a perma perk. I heard that noise. We got who's who, and it looks different than the other shaders for some reason. I have no idea why that's the case, but hey, man. I'm not complaining. I am not complaining. You know what? Let's try using this grenade launcher on the uh, door over here. Uh, or not. It's not going to pull out for some reason. Whatever. Can I get yeeted? This grenade launcher sucks ass. <laughs> Another little nitpick I have right now is that when you switch weapons, let's say you have the grenade launcher out, when you switch weapons, it keeps the grenade launcher out, like it doesn't go back to like the normal firing mode. That's kind of annoying, but whatever. Alright, double points. Nuke, or not nuke. Insta-kill and carpenter. Alright, zombies, I'm gonna have to ask you to not give me your extended warranty, man. I don't need any of this freaking bull water or dog shit water whatever the hell you want to call it all right six grand what do we want to do with the points? what do we want to do i did put the perk limit up to 12 right i think i did i think i did oh we just got another perma perk sorry i had to go check on something really quick but i am back here we just got i unpaused it we got a perma perk i don't know what we just got but this is pretty cool, dude. Like, imagine paying $60 for BO2 still, dude. Activision is just insane with that. They're like, you know what? We know this game is amazing, and we could just still charge $60 for it, dude. And when it does go on sale, it doesn't even last that long. It's only like when there's like a Steam sale or something, then it goes away. And it's like, ah, back to $60, bitch. Give me your COVID tax money now. Like, Activision needs more money, man. Getting sidetracked over here. Alright, max ammo. It does not refill your clip, unfortunately. That is very unfortunate. Unfortunately, unfortunate. Now, the glow is kind of loud here, but I'm going to leave the volume where it is because I don't want the gun sounds being too low. Casually dipping down the 50 FPS here. But I think that's mostly due because I'm recording as well as playing the game. Alright, so can we double pack this? Uh, there is no double pack. Also, what the hell? Oh, it has, like, the BO2 aiming for, like, it, like, brings the gun up a little bit. That is so weird, dude. Like I said, we're in BO3 right now. This isn't BO2, so this is really throwing me off, honestly. This is really throwing me off. I started out with that main menu screen where it said BO2. But nah, dude, we're on BO3, dude. They want to charge you $60. Modder's like, fine, I'll just port the entire game over to Black Ops 3. The hell needs to pay sixty dollars, man. I mean, honestly, you get more replayability on this mod as well because you have all the guns and shit. And you have like all weapon kits, all the camos. It's all free, man. As long as you own Black Ops Three, then you get this mod for free. So yeah. All right, we have ten grand. Definitely gonna be getting a different weapon here. And you know, let's actually buy the gavel knuckles. Fuck it. Nice. All right, now hopefully these are one-hit kill until a later round. I forget what round they uh, fall off. Okay, we lost another perma perk. Got a hammer, though. Let's take this. Oh, it's actually ported over correctly, too. Look at that. It fires really fast at the beginning, and then it goes slower. I think some of the ports of Black Ops 2 guns don't have the exact stats, but this one definitely does. Pretty damn cool to see. Also, I don't think this was in the weapon kits, either. There were some LMGs in there, like the RPD and everything, but I don't think this was in the uh, weapon kits. You know what? Fuck it. Let's get another gun here. Do we have the Mark II in here? Did not see. We have the Mark I. Uh, dude, he keeps giving me the Spaz-12. What is going on here? What is going on here, man? I have no idea. No idea what's going on. Oh, you know what? 
You know why I probably didn't see the Spaz 12 in the weapon kits? It's probably because I activated DLC guns. There's probably DLC guns appearing that aren't in the weapon kits yet. I'm sure they will be, though, in a future update. But so far, impressions of this mod so far is fucking pretty damn good, considering you put whatever you want in this mod as long as it works with the um, map. Right, let's get the hell out of here before these zombies trap me here. Round 13, doing pretty good so far. I'd say, at least. I want to get as many perks as possible. Now, is there 12, or is it just set to max 12 perk limit? That's the real question I want to answer. I like how I bought the gavel knuckles, I'm not even using them. I grab this, hurry. Oh my god. Fucking dead shit. I almost just risked my life for dead shit, dude. That is absolutely terrible. God, dude, this light's loud as hell in here. The light's louder than the wonders is. Uh, mule kick? Fuck it, let's just grab it just cause. Yeah, the dead shit logo and the who's who logo are... It looks like they're different almost. It has like a darker shade to it. I don't know. Pretty weird. Pretty weird. Oh, the Mark II is in there. All right, Vector. And we get to keep it as well because we got Mule Kick. Nice. All right, let's go again. Yeah, so the DLC guns. Yeah, I see a Ballistic Knife as well. So the DLC guns must not be in the uh, weapon kits, which is fine. Just needed to reiterate that as well. All right, seven grand. Now, hopefully more maps come out for World at War and BO1, like I said, because I love playing those games. Black Ops 3 is amazing, dude. Don't get me wrong, but I love the older games more. I love, like, World at War because it feels, like, more gritty and stuff, and it's, like, you know, the sticky zombies, which some people might count as a problem, but honestly, I think it's a skill issue if you can't avoid sticky zombies. At the same time, I get trapped by them, so I can't really say too much. All right, another gun. i definitely try packing one here again soon. Uh, ooh, Peacekeeper. Grab this. Oh, look at that muzzle flash. That's nuts. Alright, let's get the box again. I want to get one with my weapon kits on it, and I'm pretty sure this one was in there as well. Oh, we got a Mark II. Let's go. So is this the one that... Yeah, this is the one that makes you fly back, dude. Cool, cool. Wasn't there, like, one Mark II that didn't let you fly backwards? I forget which one it was. Uh, F.A.L.? Do I want this? Not really, but I'm going to trade it in just because I'm too lazy to wait for the box to go back down. And that is a fact. Now, I don't know how long I'm going to play this for. I was Oh, we have the crossbow. So apparently this has a tribal on it. Let's see this. Um, That is not a tri... Oh, wait, you know what? No, I'm stupid. I'm stupid. That's my fault. I totally forget. All the attachments come on when you pack a punch the gun. So it's not when you immediately get it. Oh, that is copyrighted music, dude. Please, no. I am not risking that. I'm sorry, but every time I upload a video with the fire sale music, it literally always gets copyright claimed, and that is the dumbest shit ever. Man, frick whoever copyrights their damn video for frickin' fire sale music in the year 2023, man. Uh, ooh, MSMC. That is tempting. You know what, I'm gonna trade in the Eagle Oil, because we used it for a bit. I know a lot of people are gonna be mad at me that I just did that, but hey man. It's my gameplay video. My rules, bitch. Just kidding. Don't take that personally. Alright, 14 ground. Mark 2. Alright, yeah, let's pack this. Dude. I want to see this triple tribal pack with weapon build kit. See, that's what I'm saying, though. Put everything on, everything on the D-pad, like the uh, mule kick weapon and shit, because, like I said, switching between three weapons is AIDS. Oh, look at this freaking intensity camo on this thing. Looks pretty cool. Oh, it does shoot three. This and oh, and it attracts them. But that is not where I shot that though. Um, what was that? I do you guys see that? Hold on a minute. I'm aiming. Okay, I'm aiming at this floor, right? I'm aiming right there. Um, game. That's not where I shot. So if I shoot it like straight, it goes straight. Wait a minute. Does it bounce off the floor? Dude, what is going on? This is a bit buggy. How the hell did it get all over there? Can someone riddle me how I shot it in there and it somehow teleported through the wall and hit this wall? Alright, whatever, whatever. I'm just happy that the tri bolt works. This is so damn cool. Even though it showed two bolts, but I'm pretty sure it shot three. Because it does say six in the mag, so. Pretty damn cool here. Let's try getting PhD because I did see it in the perk list, so yeah, it's in there. Oh, we got it. Let's go. Finally, I call the perk and I get it. Holy lord. 
That's a freaking rarity. Oh, I like that PhD logo. That one looks pretty damn cool. Uh, Electric Cherry. Actually, isn't that PhD logo just one from uh, Mob of the Dead Cell Block? I think Mob of the Dead Cell Block had a uh, PhD. Yeah, this is a bit buggy, just saying. It's like going wacko mode. It's like I aim down somewhere, and it's like, you know what? You didn't aim there, but we're going to shoot over there anyway. Now, hopefully, like I said, hopefully he adds the um, weapon kits for the Mark II and stuff, because that would be pretty cool to get, like, attachments and shit. I know BO2 didn't have attachments for the Mark II, but I'm sure you can make your own. It would be pretty cool. Also, the Mark II is broken. It's not going through the zombies. It's only hitting one. So that is also another thing. Also, I'm going to turn the music back on after this fire sale. I totally forgot to turn it back on here. Um, F-A-L-O-S-W. You know what, no, we're going to pack a punch the MSMC. I want to see what camo I put on this. I totally forgot. Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know why the fuck the fire sale music's copyrighted, but you know what? I do not care. I honestly do not care. Uh, what the hell is this? What the heck did I get? The F-O-A-D. Oh my god. I thought I said something else for a second. Dude, the watermelon camo though on this. This looks fucking cool as shit, man. Cool as shit. Yeah, so honestly, I think I might just play until like round 25 or something. Because like I said, I was just trying to get in, like a general showcase of this mod. I'm not going to try to go like around 100 or some shit. Alright, stamina up. Grab you. And let's get another perk. Gotta shoot this thing. Hello, zombie. Uh, Vulture Raid. Hopefully this one actually works and doesn't break. I know one of the Vulture Raids have, like, that shitty-ass smoke where you can't see anything. And it's, like, COVID 2.0. No, dude, it's not COVID-19. It's COVID-20. It's COVID-20 with this damn Vulture Raid smoke. So it's not that bad. It's not, like, insane. And it does work, so you don't... You, you get blinded by the zombies. Alright, max ammo. Nice, nice. Oh, I like the zombies' eye glow as well. It's pretty cool. So far, I'd give this mod, honestly, a solid 9 out of 10. Because, obviously, you can play this on more maps than just this one. Headshots are crazy, though, with this. Alright, seven grand. Do we have any more perks in here? We do not. So we have two, four, six, eight, nine, ten. Wait, two, four, six, eight, nine. We only have eleven. Um, I mean, it did say twelve perk limit, but oh, you know, I'm an idiot. We're missing tombstone, right? Yeah, the clips there. We're missing tombstone, but that's cool because we are on solo, and tombstone wouldn't do shit on solo. So I am all okay with that. Um, what is this? Executioner? You know that gun is amazing, but like... Honestly, let's grab it, because the Mark II is a bit broken. Let's see this. Oh my god, move, move, move. See, why are they running that way? It's like... The things are right there. See, it like bounces on the floor. I don't know what's going on with that, man. I have no idea. Oh my god, move, move. I'm gonna try pack-a-punching this Executioner really quick. Alright, yeah, up on the D-pad is fairly easy to use if you know how to use, like, claw and shit, so. Alright, grab this. Voice of Justice. What the hell? Oh, I forgot to put a tack knife on it, right? Yeah, I put a tack knife on this. Even though I don't see the... I don't see the tack knife. I'm literally... Dude, is it just me or am I just using my fist? I don't see a knife. There is no knife on... Oh my god, dude, there's no knife. He's using the fist, dude. I guess he likes fisting the zombies, apparently. Man's fisting it up in here. I don't even know what the fuck I just said. There's some weird shit. Also, I forgot to turn on the music again. Because I'm a dumbass. But it doesn't matter anyway. Because we got a fire sale again. And I'm getting it. Alright, mystery box. Do I want to get something else cool? I want to get the Reagan Mark 1. Um, hmm. QBB LSW. Is that what that said? QBB? What the hell does that even stand for? I have no idea, man. No idea. Alright, we got- we lost another perma perk. Okay, so, leave it down in the comments. What are- can someone name, like, all the perma perks in the comments, please? Because I totally forgot all of them. Well, not all of them, but some of them. I know one of them is perma PhD if you keep taking fall damage, but... We don't really need PhD perma because we already have the perk, so... 
it's not really a problem here. But yeah, dude, I love this epic <laughs> epic tack knife we have here. Now, I don't know if that's because we have the gavel knuckles or not. If that's fucking up the knife or whatever, but there is definitely no knife in this man's hand, dude. Alright, run. Actually, no, I want to try dolphin diving as well and doing the PhD explosion. Let's try this. Let's try this here. Oh, I just got a perma perk. I don't know what I just got, but it gave it to me. Yeah, so leave it down in the comments as well. Do you guys want to see more playthroughs of this mod on other maps? Because I'll definitely do that if there's enough support for it. Because I usually only try to do one video per mod. Because obviously it would just be the uh, same thing on different maps. But if you guys want another playthrough of this, let me know down in the comments here. Alright, so we have all these guns packed. Let's try getting another gun here. I really want to see more of these camos. Dude, they look so good. They look so good on the BO2 guns. Alright, what do we want to trade in? Uh, okay, RPD. I think I put this one in the weapon kits, right? It was in the weapon kits. But yeah, dude, the muzzle flash looks so nice. So damn nice. All right. Oh, I didn't do the weapon kits. I'm an idiot. I just held fucking square or X or whatever. Everyone just call me a dumbass in the comments. It'll be all okay. Grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it. Okay, so it use... Oh, look at this. Oh, wait. I didn't even use the... I held square and it's still giving me my weapon kit. So I put a suppressor on this one. Dude, this thing sounds AIDS. What the hell? So it did use it, but I didn't press up on the D-pad, though. Hey, this camo, though, this etching camo looks pretty nice. Even though it's not really that shiny, but still looks pretty damn good on this gun. Yeah, now I've never even used, like, the RPD with a suppressor before in BO2. So this is actually, like, my first time using it. Because, like I said... I think you only can get the RPD in the campaign, and it's not even in, like, multiplayer or zombies or whatever. I mean, you could get it in zombies, but you couldn't get, like, the suppressor on it in zombies. It was only, like, normal upgrade and shit. Oh my god, another fire sale. I guess I'll just leave the music off, because there's not even any music playing, so it's like, whatever. Alright, new gun. Let's see what we got here. Let's see what we got. Uh, dual wield 5.7. You know, let's try this in. Dual wield 5.7, huh? Now, there was a glitch to where you couldn't run sometimes with this gun. Wow, do we get the MSMC back? Love to see it. Alright, new gun. Round 21 here. Uh, Vector. Keeps giving me the same guns, man. And I lost another perma perk. I don't know what the teddy bear one does. Doesn't that give you, like, better chance of weapons or some shit? I totally forget. I totally forget, dude. I have no idea. No idea whatsoever. Alright, 950. Uh, teddy bear that is just epic to see. So epic. You know, let's go pack a punch this. Go pack a punch the uh, vector here. I mean, it, this thing's working. It's just like I said, the aiming is a bit off. Alright, let's use the weapon kit this time, even though I don't think it matters, because it worked last time and I didn't press it. Oh my god, give me this. Venom KX-10. Oh, dude, look at this. This thing with the freaking haptic camo on BO3. Even though there's fire all over my fucking screen. God damn you, town, for being so AIDS. Alright, 10 grand. Okay, Carpenter. Got the fire sale here. God, there's so many power-ups dropping. I don't know if there was, like, a power-up, like, uh, setting in the menu or not. I don't know if I breezed past it or whatever, but there was. I have no idea. Um, got that QBB gun again. Uh, you know, let's try this in, because like I said, I'm trying to see all these weapons packed, but was this one in the menu? I forget. I totally forget, dude. RPD, all right, then let's try this. Let's upgrade this and see what happens. All right, pack you. We got, we got MVP FML. Okay. It has the camo from Zetavo on it. Let's jump away here. Yeah, so there are the teddy bears. I'm going to try activating the other two. Or whatever. Oh, also, I'm going to turn back on the music now. What the fuck am I doing? I am a scrub. That is what I'm doing. Alright. 
Okay, where the heck was the third one, by the way? Was it upstairs in the other room? No, I got that one already. I'm pretty sure. Alright, calm down, zombies. You'll all get bullets eventually. It's just... Oh, I'm fucked. I'm not fucked. I'm not fucked. Please, zombies, I'm gonna need you to move. I don't know what the fuck's going on. I can't open... I cannot open up that door. Um... There was claymores I could buy as well. Dude, imagine if I could pack the claymore. Now, dude, okay, if you're watching this, the uh, mod maker, if I could pack a punch this claymore, this is going to be the best mod ever. If I could run up to the pack a punch and straight up stick the claymore in the pack a punch machine, I am going to alt F4. What? What was that? That. That was a troll. That was the fucking claymore. That was a freaking. MP5 in disguise. What the fuck? I am bamboozled right now. What the fuck just happened? That's a fucking claymore. <laughs> There's a fucking MP5 just sticking out of it. What the hell? What is going on here, dude? I am so bamboozled right now. I am bamboozled to like the highest fucking tier. I didn't even try PhD yet. Does this even work? Oh, it does, and that shit was loud as fuck. Holy hell. That was so damn loud for no reason. Dude, I lost my damn crossbow. What the fuck? Alright, we got a freaking Barret here. Let's try upgrading this. I think this was also in the weapon kits menu. Let's upgrade the... Dude, that's such bullshit. I go up to the Claymore. I'm like, yes, dude, we're gonna pack the Claymore, and the game's like, MP5. Okay, so this one did not put a camo on, so it might be glitched. Let's try the MP5. So I am pressing the weapon kit build. I'm not using square or X or whatever. MP115 Collider. Alright, this one did use the weapon kits. It's like very shiny for some reason. Oh my god. I do not want to get freaking game banged here. Please, zombies. I am not on the casting couch, man. Get the hell out of here. This thing has shit damage, even with double tab. What the fuck's going on here, dude? Nice low. Oh, I'm fucked here. No, I'm not. Dude, this thing is pretty epic. I don't even. Was this even in zombies? I don't think this was in zombies. Oh, we got another fire sale, dude. Fuck you and the damn music. Not the map maker or whatever. I'm just saying. Like the copyright shit, man. Fucking fire sale music. Love to see it. Imagine being at Treyarch and like, and they're like, you know what? This sounds like a pretty good song to put as the box music. And then they're like, actually, it's copyright. Get fucked. L. <laughs> Holy shit, the frame rate went down to 45, man. 45. I'm getting to like my IQ level of fucking frame rate here. By the way, sorry if you hear my PC in the background. It sometimes turns into a jet engine. And, uh, yeah. So if you hear that, then I apologize. But not everything can work out perfectly. Um, I just lost a perma perk from knifing in the air. I don't know what the fuck I lost, but... It is still a one-hit kill in round 23. Oh, never mind. I guess I shot a zombie before. It is not a one-hit kill. That was a lie. Alright, let's try upgrading the 5.7. Let's see what we got here. What camo did I put on this one? Or what attachments, I mean, not camo. Okay, Ultra? Okay, so this one has the knife. This one has the knife. So, yeah, confirmed last time I did not have a knife. Oh, that's a nice suppressor sound. That is a very nice suppressor sound. Alright, nuke. Do you have any other guns to pack here? MP I'm definitely getting rid of this MP5, dude. MP5 in this freaking mod equals dog water damage. Like, holy lord. Holy lord. Alright, new gun. Something decent, please. Uh, MSMC, fuck it, I'm taking that over that. Garbo. Usually the MP5 is decent, but that is straight dog shit water. Uh, okay, Magnum? Or Python? Okay, this one does reload one bullet at a time, sadly. Oh, I almost just got stuck there. That would have been terrible. Absolutely terrible. Alright, alright, 20 grand. Headshot damage is pretty nice on this thing, even without aiming. Alright, let me try upgrading this, man. I just want to upgrade the damn gun, zombies. 
Alright, you in the pack a punch. Frame rate casually going down to 45. Okay, Cobra. Okay, so this one does not have any attachments on it. Alright, max ammo. Let's go get a new gun here. So yeah, I, have, I will probably do a last stand. Honestly, where the hell should I stand at? I don't even know, man. I don't even know. I kind of want to upgrade more of these guns, though. See what's going on here. Uh, monkeys. Oh, did you see that logo on it? It had, like, a blue logo when I picked it up. But it doesn't have it in the bottom right, though. That blue logo was pretty damn epic for, like, the split, <laughs> for, like, the split second I saw it. All right, Galil, I already had you. Go away, please, even though you're an amazing gun. I do not need you. Uh, Executioner, already had you. That's our monkey here. It is still this BO3 monkey mom, though, for some reason. Uh, Spaz 12. Not gonna pack this, because this definitely wasn't in the weapon kit, I don't think. It's so weird, the BO3 monkey bomb doesn't, like, its mouth doesn't move. Alright, fuck it, never mind, we're packing it. We're packing it, dude. Oh my god, please give me this. Spaz 24, okay, nice. It is full auto. Yeah, so like I said, I, I, I'm sorry I keep reiterating this, but... This is a work in progress, so don't judge it too much. I mean, it said it's a work in progress on the page. It said work in progress and like, zombie mod, so. That's so nice as well. Instantly reloads all the bullets in the spaz. Fire sale. Do I sold the music off? I think I do. I do, okay. I'm just gonna leave it off for the rest of the playthrough, because obviously I don't want to get a fucking copyright fucker on my damn video. Uh, what the hell is that? Is that attack 45? It is. I don't know why this wasn't in zombies either. This gun's pretty good. In multiplayer, at least. Get nuke. I gotta move. Okay, try operating this. I think I put a attack knife on this one as well, if I remember correctly. Tactical at atmospheric what? Caliber. Okay, yeah, this one doesn't have a knife as well. What the hell? Okay, this one's full auto. Wait a minute. Look how much ammo this thing has. What the hell? Oh, but it's dog shit, though. That's why it has so much ammo. I mean, it's not that dog shit, but still, it takes quite a few bullets. Quite a few. Oh, I'm, I'm stupid. I'm stupid. I don't know how the fuck I just got out of that, but whatever. I thought I was going to at least get hit once there. Alright, 19 grand. Honestly, fuck it. Let's go to round 30. Let's go to round 30. I'm actually having a, a really good time on this mod so far. Okay, cool. By the way, if you guys are this far in the video, if you guys could please drop a like and subscribe if you haven't already. I started saying that in the middle of the video just because. Because why the fuck not? Uh, max ammo. Damn, dude, this gun's pretty loud, though. Actually, I'm gonna turn this down a little bit more. Dude, this is actually kind of still loud. Turn down 61. That's better. I don't know if it was that loud for you guys, but it probably was. Sorry about that. Oh my god, I can't see shit with this green jizz on my way, dude. Fuck. It's like Shrek just came over here and fucking just took a shit. I mean, hey, this thing's fucking amazing for points, but for killing, it's not really that good. I mean, it is because it's, like, funding them off, but still. Alright. Uh, wow, dude, another spaz. What the hell's going on here? I see other guns in here. I didn't, I'm just not getting them. Anything but the war machine, though. Okay, Python. That's better than war machine. I lost another perma perk. I don't know what the fuck it was, but I lost it. It would be cool if it told you, like, on the top left corner what perma perk you lost or gained. Because it is pretty um, confusing, like, telling which one you lost or gained, so... That'd be pretty cool if it said, like... I don't even know, probably not the top of the screen, probably, like, in the like bottom left underneath the perks, maybe it'll be better. But, alright, monkey. Get yeeted. Perfect, alright, nice. Alright, you know, I'm actually gonna upgrade the FIL. Just because I can. Um, attack 45, already upgraded you. Dude, this is basically try to upgrade every gun challenge right now. That's <laughs> basically what it is. Alright, let's see what camo I put on this thing. The WN. Oh, the Swindler camo, dude. 
The Swindler camo is probably one of my favorites on BO3. Leave it down in the comments. What is your favorite DLC camo of BO3 or just like any camo in general? The Swindler one's pretty good. You have the Ice one, that Haptic one that I had on the Vector earlier. Well, this thing's pretty trash though. This FAL is pretty trash. I mean, it is round 27, but still, we have double tap two, so it shouldn't be that. Oh, wait, there's a fire selector on this one. Yes, full auto. That is one of the attachments I put on the gun. There is a fire selector on the left D-pad. Does it keep it full auto if I switch guns? It does, dude. Let's go. That's nice. That is very nice. Also, why are all the zombies going around there? Shouldn't they be, like, going over there? I have no idea. God. Uh, no, I do not want the RPD. Thank you. Sorry, but I am not Leon S. Kennedy. I do not need the RPD at this time. That is not what I need. Double points. Oh my god. What the hell is that? Oh, an XPR? Actually, I want that. I want that game. Damn you. Oh my god. I'm not gonna get it. I'm not gonna get it. I can get it? Freaking monkey bomb. Alright, hit the box again. Double points. Wow, dude, teddy bear. Like I said, I'm still waiting for the day where Treyarch adds in the ability to be able to pick up the teddy bear from the box and fucking yeet that shit. That'd be hilarious. Alright, 39 grand. Fire sale. I can't get it. God damn you, zombies. Okay, nuke. I got another perma perk. But as usual, I can't tell what it is. Okay, we're getting rid of this dog water FAL. Um. Okay, I turned off the full auto first before it traded it in. That was a bit weird. Double tap? Why are you so loud, dude? This man's over here fucking just singing long, man. Also, there's no, like, prone points or anything. It's something. MSMC. Okay, okay. We're doing good, we're doing good. Um, SMR, you know what? I'm gonna pack a bunch of this just for the memes. Just for the memes, dude. If I could even get out here. I can. Oh, I barely made that fucking jump. Alright, we're packing the SMR. Something I would never thought I would have said in the year 2023. Can we even get to it, though? We can. Okay, Smiler, this one does not have a full auto switch. It does have the cyborg cam on it, though, which looks pretty nice. That's a normal BO2 camo on you, right? Dude, I really wish they would bring back the $2 camos in the shop. Like, I would buy those way more than the $20 bundles they sell. The $2 camos were very nice that applied to every gun. Oh my god, I tried to fucking slide. Didn't do shit. <laughs> alright, alright. Box, we have you. They got stop bringing the walls, man. Stop running into walls. A carpenter. Um, oh, we got the F... Dude, I want the FIL, you son of a bitch. Give me that. I am very lucky I didn't get trapped there, honestly. Oh, I didn't ho I didn't press up on the D-pad, but let's see if this works this time. Um, W-N-L-O. Okay, so it still puts the, um... It still puts the camo on, even if you don't press up on the D-pad. I don't know if that's a glitch or not, or what. Well, this one also does have the full auto switch, so that is nice. Very nice. Didn't they ban this from competitive in BO2? Because this thing was like a two hit kill in multiplayer. This thing was fucking nuts. So damn good, though. Okay, fire sale. I'm gonna try getting up here before the fire sale runs out, but no promises. Alright, alright. Cool, run up here. By the way, I know this is totally off, like, off topic, but I'm actually getting kind of optimistic about Modern Warfare 3 Zombies from that trailer we saw. I know it doesn't, like, look, I mean, it's not, like, gameplay or anything, but, like, the storyline, I'm kind of intrigued because it just got confirmed, well, not really confirmed, but it got leaked that we're going to be having the fuel upgrades from Cold War in there. So that gives me a little bit of hope, but not really that much. Cold War is pretty good in my opinion, but there was definitely a bunch of flaws in that game, like not being able to play 
as a set crew or anything, which is very annoying. And the stupid operators you could play as. But hey, man, one of them was cool that I actually got. That was the ghost face operator. Uh, RPD. Yeah, so I think... I don't know, maybe if I turn DLC weapons off, it wouldn't give me these so much. Obviously, it wouldn't give me them at all, but... I don't know, dude. Oh, RPG. Was this... I don't even think this was in the weapon kits. And it shouldn't be, because there's no attachment for the RPG, I don't think. Okay, TAC-45. Yeah, let's play until round 30 here, and we'll call it. Or I'll last stand in a room or some shit. You know, let's go do it right now. Let's go last stand in the bank. I tried most of the weapons out here and got some attachments on them. It looked pretty damn cool. But I will play this again if you guys want me to. Just let me know. Also, there's a teddy bear right here. Okay, did that turn on music? Hold on, I just want to see. I want to see if that turned on music at all. Because I hit all three of them. Um, it did not. But that might also be the mod not letting it play. Yeah, look at this shit, dude. Imagine, imagine the nerves of the Claymore being an MP5. Imagine the nerves. Fucking aside, dude. My lord. <laughs> Alright, 43,000 points, though. I'm gonna try throwing another grenade at this thing, but that's not gonna do shit, I don't think. It's not gonna do shit. 44 grand. Oh, leave me alone, dude. Oh, oh, I have who's fucking who, man. Oh, I'm dead. Everyone clap it up for who's who. Best perk in the game. Also, look at that camo on my body. That looks pretty cool. Alright, but anyway, that's going to be the T6 mod. I will leave it down in the description if you guys want to go try it yourself. Oh my god, who's who? Please get out of my ear, man. <laughs> actually, you know what? Before we end it here, I'm actually going to go look at the main menu here and see what I missed. Because I'm pretty sure I forgot to show you guys some stuff. So let's, so let's see what I missed out here. I missed the game modes, right? Game. Yeah, game mode. We have gun game. Classic, Grief, and Turn. Okay, so yeah, that's the one I forgot. Gun game. Dude, imagine a mod launching with more game modes than, like, actual Treyarch games. Dude, that's so sad. But anyway, like I said, you guys made it this far. Feel free to leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.